It's always going to be something he does fantastically well in any Quake he plays. I feel like Ruins of Sarnath being the first map is actually very beneficial to Cypher as well, because historically, he's had a lot of success on this map in particular, and we did just see his third pick there. We went with the traditional, you know, the Nyx and the Sawlags, but we have seen him go with Galena. Now, she works so fantastically well on Ruins of Sarnath because jump pads and teleporters are a very popular way to maneuver around. One thing Galena does well in Duel specifically, besides healing herself when she needs a burst of health at any given moment, she can uh, essentially deny certain mobility tools, you know. Even Galena being your opponent, means that using a teleporter is risky because even if she's not put a teleporter, not a teleporter, sorry, a totem down, she might have done. And if she has, is it worth the risk of that teleporter being just an outright death sentence? But it's actually something that we've seen Cypher stick to for a long time. Even since the early days of the very first sort of tournaments for, um, you know, for Quake Champions, you know, the 125 FPS Cups, we saw Cypher consistently go to Galena on maps like this to try and really understand... Oh, back in the early days, he yeah, fought Faz, right? Like one of the really original 125. To, to, to experiment with champions that we didn't really see at the time, and at the time, Galena was definitely one of them. Now has become a staple on certain maps, thanks to players kind of sticking it out with her, and Cypher's still running with it now. But at the same time, with Nyx and with Sawlag, we know that uh, Cypher has a lot of experience. Now, just to remind you folks at home, this is a qualification match. Whoever wins this series is going to qualify for DreamHack Denver, and they will be joining the rest of the already invited competition. But they've got to earn their way in, and this one series could be the decider of that. The loser of this is not out, but they will be in the lower bracket. Well, they all have one more chance, but that safety net is gone. Still, though, not oh. with back that tried and true competition we saw before of that Sawlag. Anarchy and Nyx. That's where I put this good use before. Noctis did not want to dedicate to that. I mean, he actually not, didn't necessarily have to jump on Cypher, even though he got the first hit right there. But he knew he would have been point blank, and he knew the Sawlag was his opponent. He does not want to be point blank, especially when the Acid Spit is ready. The ability time is it's just one extra thing that these top players need to time. They're already timing respawn times. They're already having to do the maths on health and armor. And now they're having to time abilities too. Like there's so much knowledge required to be a top level Quake Champions player. Still though, we have to remember this is Ruins of Sarnath and it is Anarchy. It's going to be very difficult for Cypher to keep up with Noctis here. If Noctis can get a good sequence of mobility going, this is kind of like the, the, the playground for Anarchy. Still though, controlling these power-ups can be big, the Mega Health can be up very soon, but Cypher trying to do a little bit of damage first. This is going to take it, just going to go for the Mega Health instead. I think that, that was uh, that was one of those you miss every shot, you don't take scenarios where, I mean, like, that was going to be like a magical pixel hit rail, but I mean, who cares, right? I'm going to get Mega anyway. Well, that could have been huge, but still a lot of health on the side of Cypher. Gets a little bit of damage down to the tick, he knows where he is. He's going to see him down near the armor. Loads of nails coming through. Wow. There we go. Wonderful play by Noctis. Just zoning off with those nails. And Cypher walked straight through it. And Noctis is going to take a little bit of damage to just finish him off. And he gets the first blood almost two minutes into the round. And he gets the mega health for it too. I actually kind of feel like Noctis used the acid spit against Cypher right there. Like he knew that Cypher knew where he was, right? So he just opted to go, well, he's likely to try and chase me down. He knows I'm by heavy. He knows he might be able to secure it. That was a disgusting rail, by the way. And then he just, just turned around and went for a little bit of that spam on the super nail gun and did the damage required to win the fight. Like, it was really well executed, but <laughs> even better executed with that rail by Cypher, turning it round very confidently. So, though, Noctis is on Sawlag, so he's going to take a few more of those rails to get taken out. The yeah. last coming through, but he's chasing it. Snatching up that mega, knowing the very dangerous Nyx. situation to be in for Cypher. Hangs around and Noctis just peps him down with the start machine gun. Take enough damage now, Cypher left with just Galena. Oh, and he's getting chased. Noctis. Oh, go. Oh, wow. Yeah, Cypher again able to make that return frag. I think Noctis really wanted to just stick to Cypher there before he can get his totem set up, but already has one on the board. He was able he to use the totem. He threw it, though. Uh, he threw it sort of towards that small health just by the jump pad and actually used the totem's health after killing Noctis to survive afterwards. But hang on, here's the fight. Last champion, the aggressive ghost walk. 11 health oh, left, but Noctis God. doesn't chase. That was a dangerous situation if Nock just went for that. He, I mean, that would have been an all or nothing thing, right? But does get the mega health. health Cypher totem very low. Goes him down, get himself to the top again. Hey, don't forget, guys, that totem doubles up as both defensive and offensive. It can heal you and damage them at the same time. But speaking yeah, of wow. damage, one connects. Noctis now, no armor. And Cypher knows where he is, too. Still going to have a ghost walk for a little while. Surely tries to swap to that rail for that final shot, but wasn't quite able to take it. You can swap from rail, uh, you can swap to rail from lightning gun at a deceivingly fast rate. Oh, what a rail! He's in big trouble now. Ghost walk is forced. 
Okay, jump just to quickly secure the mega. Oh, two damage! Oh my lord, Noctis, Noctis somehow alive. lives to fight another day. That was surprising. Look at the though, the heavy armor goes towards Cypher. This is a miserable If he uses that teleporter, he's dead. In. If he uses that teleporter, he's dead. And then no doubt he's seen it too. Like he knows where he is. Oh, that would have been a fantastic position right there. And he gets it! Wow, nice awareness from Cypher. Clean execution. I mean, that was just knowledge, right? Like, he knew where Noctis was likely to be. To yeah, when, when you have those Galena totems outside teleporter exits, not only does it shut down mobility Round options of your opponent, game. but it also means that Three, you as the player know, two, well, he's one. not detonating the turret, Round the totems, two, which means he's five, not using the teleporters, which means that there's only one way he can go. And Cypher is consistently making that read of where he's going to be. That was a fantastic angle, too. Still, though, we know Noctis was able to get the first frag oh. last time, but nice. every time Cypher lost a champion, he just immediately returned with one of his own. Noctis is in big trouble. He's trying to escape, but the injection has already been used. He has nothing to save himself from the ticking damage. He gets armor at the last minute, but that will not save him if Cypher catches him right now, and it looks like he does. Oh, Noctis, he is away, between Noctis. a rock and a hard place, man. I mean, like, it's a 50-50 left or right. I even think it is. Cypher's trying to cover all the bases, gets the mega health. You can see he's gone back. He knows Noctis is likely to be. Like, he can't leave. Cypher is just covering all of the exits. Oh, the rail didn't quite connect. Noctis. I mean, he's going to have to do something brave. Does he get out of here? He's trying. But he's still, still stuck, and there's, there's no health over there. There's one small pickup near him, and that was it. And it wasn't enough to get him back. But Cypher opts to run away to get access to that heavy armor again. I feel like Cypher just used that, that, that situation where Noctis was trapped to just create that divide and make it bigger with the uh, heavy armor right there instead. And now, look, he's got Mega 2. He can easily fight Noctis now with anything he wants to do. I mean, Noctis is going to have ejection, but I've already seen that. That's not quite a, a get out of jail free card in the fights. Can't fight back. Uh oh, he gets the rail. Noctis in trouble. He knows he's used the teleporter. And he's also going to know for 40 seconds. Well, I'll make that 35. Now he's picked up an hourglass. That injection will not be an option. I mean, even with the heavy, just look at the difference in stacks. Cypher's laughing at this. Interesting here. Looks like Cypher really wants to try and just get a figure on where Noctis has gone. And then Noctis, I mean, he's still going to, even at full stacks, he's not going to be anywhere near as healthy as Sawlag. The Mega Health is up and Noctis nowhere near to securing it. So he's going to get that for free. The thing is, if Cypher plays this hit and run game intelligently and he hits those rails, he keeps them behind. Hang on a minute, here's the fight. Noctis only needs a couple more hits on the LG and he's going to win the fight. He's going to chase this down though. Heavy armor. The heavy armor's too, he's, it's too obvious. He's not going to risk it. Yeah, Cypher knew better than to go for that, I think. What a turn of momentum. I was just about to say, if Cypher kept that hit and run style going, when we had that one minute warning, you know, he could opt to go, right, now I'm going to take the fight because I'm so consistently ahead of him in terms of just general stack. He could have probably won that fight. That one exchange that didn't go in his favor knocked us down the driver's seat. But no, that rail, that clutch point blank rail has just put Noctis in a terrible situation once more. Thank you. Health goes towards Cypher. Noctis has nowhere near to keep himself healed up, but the heavy armor goes to Cypher too. Wow, what a momentum steal. Cypher and it, it just came from that here. one rail. You know, if that didn't work out! Oh, so clean. There we go. The saw like oh, but... catches him as well. Whoa. He just picked up a rocket, though. He has some weapon. Oh, nice rail. The problem is he's got a starter machine gun and rocket, and that's all he's got. He has nothing to fight back. He hits a rocket too, but just the distinct difference in health meant that Cypher didn't really have to worry about that. Noctis is in a bit of bother right here. Oh, heavy armor's here, but Cypher doesn't want to let him get it for free. There's the ghost walk. It's expensive for Noctis, but still, it will get the heavy armor's going to be huge. At the very least, he's taking it away from Cypher. Trading ability for ability as well. Similar cooldowns. Although Cypher getting armor anywhere he can. He comes Noctis. There's no ghost the walk. Noctis stay around. No, he's running away. Because of this sort of snowball-based gameplay where Cypher had a great start and he's not been forced off his starting champion yet, it's given him so much time to just not only stack up when he needs to, but just he's got every weapon he needs to get the job done. Bets it on the rail and misses. Misses a second. That was make or break, but Cypher just barely alive to live after that one. But Noctis, very weak himself, but going to be quicker to stack up to full health again. Cypher in a bit of a miserable position here, though. Not more health or armor well, at all. you say that. One minute warning, though. Even if True. he loses Sawlag, he can delay the respawn, he can go in for Nyx, and just use the Ghost Walk to survive. 50 seconds on the clock, and he's going to win this round on the champion advantage. Very unfortunate missed rail. Noctis kind of had to go for that, though. No real choice in the matter. Either he missed it, and that's it, or he got it, and uh, had a good start to maybe make a comeback. 
At this point, I kind of, I mean, it, it seems like the safest bet for Cypher to play the clock. Do you think he's going to do it? Oh, yeah, I reckon. Two chances. 100%. I mean, Cypher plays to win. Like, he knows how to play Quake, right? Like, he has his head screwed on. And it's also a qualification match, too. Like, there's so much more riding on this game than before. And even then, like, the loser will go down to loser's bracket, so you still have a chance, but having to not do that work, I mean, there we go. Noctis is going to take the first. But he can just delay his respawn now. Oh, no, never mind. Just goes straight in. But 10 seconds on the clock, a ghost walk available. I don't think this is possible for Noctis at all. No, five seconds left. Now that's going to be it. Round goes to Cypher. <laughs> Noctis trying, oh. <laughs> trying to suicide, end things on his terms, but isn't going to have time. That's going to be the second round going towards Cypher. One round away from taking the first map. Round Cypher's just playing three. incredibly well so far. Three, two. A big thing has just been those rails, right? Round the constant three. chip damage. Yep. How many times have we seen players, you know, that they'll go for those like harassing rails to try and get that damage? And Cypher starting with Blader this time though, I like it. But how many times have we seen players like go for those pokey rails and miss them? Oh. Get no damage. But if you can, you're doing 80 damage every time you see your opponent. You're constantly forcing them to, to surrender anything to get sacks. But now. Cypher going with Kalina first means if he gets clipped by a rail and he's got a totem, he can basically undo all that damage. But now he's against a Sawlag. He's going to have the benefit of that larger hitbox on the receiving end, which means that those little quick flick rails that he's already hitting on small champions, I mean, it's going to be so much easier for him to hit a champion that has like three times the hitbox size. Oh, that could be dangerous. The acid as well. Acid. Does Cypher have a totem to heal himself? He did use it, but he's still going to be ridiculously weak. But it does keep him alive. The danger is that the Mega just went to Sawlag. He hasn't got the health to survive this fight at all. No, the Totem oh, does keep him you alive! Are saying! The split second, I will happily eat my words. The hell. That was, that was the insane. Oh! oh hello. <laughs> Knocked just able to immediately return it. But that was it. That was looking like complete guaranteed curtains for Cypher. But just dropping that Totem at his feet and getting that clutch split max damage second. rocket. I the mean, split second. That was the perfect play, but Noctis, keeping himself in the game, immediately seeks out Cypher as soon as he can to get the frag. And Noctis catches him. Ass is going through. Oh no, he stepped a toe in it. Cypher can see him. Oh, connect. If it did, he would have been in big trouble. But speaking of which, though, Cypher very low on health now. I was just about to say, that has not a lot of health to look at. And this heavy armor is going to go in the favor of Noctis too. A long time on those regular pickups. Oh. Can't afford to take a single rail, otherwise this advantage will be swiftly undone. Here comes Cypher laying the trap. But Noctis, with the knowledge, he was ready. Hang on a minute. The turnaround. That was a really important frag for Noctis too. Miguel is going to be up in just a few seconds. Does he even have time to go for it though? We know Cypher is likely on the warpath. I'm going to be up any second too. Cypher's going to need this. The weapons is highly depending on the... Uh, sorry, I said the advantage depends on the weapons that Cypher has as well. He's being very patient. Noctis definitely did not know he was right around that corner. It does look like Cypher is content. Sort of sitting back though. We know Cypher kind of has to bring something back to get some weapons back on the board. He hasn't got nicks left. I mean, some of these last minute rails, they are going to be hard to hit because we just look at the... Those sort of like certain areas of the map where Cypher has vision for a rail. I mean, hit, Ooh, hitting those rails nice. is going to be so hard with how fast Anarchy moves. That would have been a beautiful combo kill. They're so weak, both of them. That armor may as well not exist at this health. But now he's got 75. It's going to be a little bit more substantial. Cypher, though, still struggling to get his stack back up. One health, but it's not going to be enough. Even with that, he's still vulnerable to a single rail or a bit of LG. Chasing it down, but pushed him into the teleport. Very fortunate. Cypher so trying to get away. He is one hit away from anything at this point. Trying to get away. Oh! Cypher, turn rail every time. Cypher looks like he is on death's door. He just fights back with something just out of nowhere. Uh-oh. Oh, but Noctis. Again, Noctis making that read. That was a beautiful play. Again, after basically... I don't want to say dropping a kill, because I don't think that was his mistake as much as it was Cypher just doing something incredibly impressive. He does the right thing, doesn't let it get to him, and immediately seeks out Cypher. He doesn't, okay, well, he got the frag, but he hasn't picked up any health. He's still weak. He knew, and he, had a, you know, he knew where he was. There's one thing we've seen a, a great job from Noctis today is uh, when he loses a champion, but he knows where he's likely to spawn and how much health his enemy must have after winning that fight. He cleans up. You know, his ability to just clean up a frag confidently without taking any damage himself. I mean, it's been on point today. Really impressive stuff. Oh, Cypher's chasing the fight despite only having a rocket launcher. I think Noctis has that LG and it's going to be a Sawlag versus Sawlag big body fight. LG is going to be a lot easier to confirm. Oh, 
Armour goes and Noctis is favoured too. With this advantage, he has to make sure that he hits those rails. If Cypher lands them and he doesn't, he will undo all the damage. Speaking of damage, here comes the Acid Spit, but going a bit too bold, perhaps no! Survives with one tick of LG's worth of health. And all that health and armor too. While still relatively low, Noctis able to stack up as much as he can. Oh! Ghost Rock popped immediately. Does Cypher take the kill? Yes, he does! There's the LG Cypher, immediately able to return the frag himself. Reappearing in the one area that Noctis did not look. Both these players playing in a very similar style in that regard. Oh, catch him. Oh, there's dear. A rocket launcher. This could be bad for Cypher, but there's oh. the injection just to get himself away, but he's still around. Ten health left for Cypher, though. Both these players very weak. Is he going in for the jump pad? No, he doesn't want to risk it. Noctis making safe passage all the way around instead. Ten seconds on that Mega. So they're both going to have to use those smaller pickups. Regular health and armor will have to do. But now they're going to go for that trade off. Yeah, they exchange it one each. Oh! The Ghost Walk is available if Cypher needs it. Using it aggressively. I don't know if Noctis is prepared for this. Oh, oh gets away. There. There's that speed trying to jump through. Hit the wall, though. That would oh. be a mistake. He will pay for it. One that one moment of hitting the frame, and he is punished oh. immediately. My that word. How risky movement oh. is in this game if you aren't quite 100% on it at all times. That's high level Quake. The smallest mistake for half a second will punish you for the entire game. Not to say that Noctis is out. You cannot count this guy out at all. Cypher now has the champion lead, but there's plenty of this round left to go. No, time out not going to be a thing for a little while longer at the very least. He just does have time to make this happen, but it's going to be tough. Oh, nice rail though. One more of those would be crucial, but Cypher able to get the armor first. Okay, return the favor. Oh, wow. clean shot right there. And that's 3-1. So it's going to be a good start for Cypher. He's now in the lead, has the map advantage. And I really did think that Ruin of Sarnath was a good map for Cypher. Like, if there's one predetermined map that was going to help him out, it was going to be this map. It just benefits him and it fits him like a glove. The way he wants to play this game, Sarnath just matches. It really is the rails. Like you said before, Cypher has some of the best aim in Quake right now. With every weapon as well. Yeah. Every weapon. Indeed. He, he just has the knowledge. He knows how to use them. But, I mean, it's he just plays it well. You know, hitting rails and some of those champions can be difficult, especially Nyx and Nick with how small they are and how rapidly they move around and how good these players are at duking from that distance as well. Hitting them is like the hardest possible target in the game, but Cypher consistently does it. And it's like I said before, when you've got players who are constantly trying to like harass each other with the damage, if you're hitting that damage and you're constantly forcing your opponent to pick up health and armor all the time, they're not trying to get around the map the way they normally would want to. And it works out way better for you. They're having to sort of like re-navigate their paths. And if they're having to sort of re-navigate how they move around the map, it just takes them longer than it should do, which means that you'll beat them to items, you'll beat them to locations. You can spring a trap and just wait for them. You know, you, you're in a lot more control over how they approach um, the map you're going to be going for. But it kind of looks to me like Corrupted Keep is the map that's being selected for this counter pick, or I should say potential counter pick. The map with no rail gun. And it's all about the LG, those close quarters fights. Taking the rail away from Cypher is also going to be effective, I think, for sure. But once more, his LG is also one of his most dangerous weapons. And this map is built on the LG, especially with Sawlag, too. Like, she's really come into the meta on this map 100%. If you play Sawlag, you're going to pick up the keep every time. Still, though, same compositions from both players in terms of champions. It's like a Cypher Stickman, that Galena, that, I mean, his Galena had some moments of greatness there. Like, that, 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 <laughs> that most disgusting. notable play, throwing down that health totem at the last minute to survive certain death into a quick swap into, was it a rocket or a Rayleigh swap to? I can't remember. I believe it was a rocket. It, it was something ridiculous, something utterly ridiculous. But, you know, Corrupted keeps a good map for that. Teleporters are such a huge part of just basic movement on here, and... Have to wait and see if it does a similar amount of damage here. Corrupted Keep is going to be potentially the final map here. It's going to be the winner goes to Dreamhack. Loser goes down to the loser's bracket. So you are still going to be in the tournament. It's just going to be a lot harder if you sort of progress from there. Now you've lost that safety net. But I mean, we hadn't seen Cypher play for a while. So I wasn't really sure what to expect when we saw him again um, in terms of like champions mainly. But he looks as confident as ever. And uh, not a huge surprise. Well, the thing about watching Cypher play so far is that, yes, we've been watching him play, but not necessarily in a competitive setting. And the competitive setting is, is very different to the, the, the casual environment, you know, where you're doing like matchmaking, general matchmaking, I think. Everyone knows He's that, dead. but hang oh. on a minute, that's dead. No, can't survive. Oh, oh wow, full speed. Splat. I mean, he pretty much flung himself into that wall right there. And if you're doing that star pose. Oh, oh hang on, though. That is like... 
the, the, the definition of what's happened this entire set between these guys. They do one trade those get... frags back and forth, don't they? Yeah, one of them will get the first frag, other one will spawn immediately and kill the other one. It's like they've got a grudge and they will not rest until they immediately respond to it. Vengeance yeah. must be done. My revenge has only begun. Now, Storlag versus Nyx. We've seen this matchup a ton and it's... It really is. If Nyx has Ghost Walk, she's totally fine. If not, rip. Very difficult to survive. That rocket, though, gonna do big things on Corrupted Keep, being the heaviest hitting weapon in the game. And Storlag only needs an LG on this map to get the job done. It's going to be Cypher that doesn't have his saw lag anymore, and Noctis has his, but like Galena lying in the wings for Cypher. We've already seen Galena do ridiculous things on this map over time. Ghost Walk is popped immediately, though, from Cypher to keep himself alive, but he uses it aggressively. It's another map. Oh, direct. Back. Now Cypher's forced to retreat. Definitely can't fight this. Oh, wow, he's got no Ghost Walk. That was a fantastic rocket jump from Noctis. Just meeting him head on. He's like really trying to go towards that rocket. The acid doesn't quite hit the mark. Oh, wow. Gives himself a little bit. The acid is ticking down. This is a bad situation to be in for Cypher. Tries to get through. Picks up the Mega Health. Cypher just I mean, absolutely minimal. clinging to life. Minimal rocket damage too, but the LG tracking. That was a fast sequence. And Noctis is going to take that first round. Prepare Indeed, looking really good. Cypher tried to fight back, and over and over again, Noctis was just barely round able to come out better in those trades, Three, but he would eventually two. manage it. One. Very impressive. That's fast. Much faster than the rounds we saw in Ruins, that's for sure. But a testament to this map. Corrupted Keepers unlike anything else in Duel. The starting super shotgun and the spray just annihilated. Yeah, Noctis didn't even have time to pop the ingestion there. Like, already melted down to the very core. And Cypher getting a frag. Is that going to be it? Noctis is going to take the frag. He had the acid. A lot of health on the side of Noctis. Cypher needs to take him down quickly before he can stack back up again. Oh, that's got the rocket. There was no weapons on the side of Cypher. That was perfect play from Noctis. Cypher didn't even have time to react with the ghost walk. He was already dead. I mean, we talk about a fast round. How about three frags in under 40 seconds? Oh, my word. Well, we see another. In that. What would this be? A round ended in less than a minute's time. Sure, we have 10 seconds left to find out. Cypher on Galena. You would have seen the teleporter, just keeping him at arm's reach. This is a great situation if you're the opponent near the entryway there. Ooh, misses the rocket too. A little bit of self-damage. Here we go. I love it. his management on the health items on this map, though. Every time he takes damage, he immediately heals it back up again. And now he's controlling the heavy armor. This is going to be tough for Cypher, I think, to bring this back after this much of a stacked up soul lag. Galena has made comebacks in the past. The danger is that if there's one champion in this game that doesn't really need to care too much about totems, it's probably going to be Sorlag. Oh, Venomous indeed. A second round, just like that. We might be having less than a five-minute map at this rate. Noctis is on a warpath, determined to tie things up one apiece. Well, just to remind you guys at home, this is still a qualification match or a qualification series. 1-1 one, one is something that Noctis needs, absolutely, to stay alive in the winner's bracket. Ash is coming through, but there's the armor to mitigate some of it. I think when you're this close, when you're this close to qualifying for an event like DreamHack, you don't want to have to go through that another chance. You want to get it now. You want to get the job done right now. Oh, nice nails. And Noctis has been on the money with those consistently. Oh, my God. That's actually one of the deceivingly harder to hit weapons in the game, I think, the nail gun. You have to aim so much more in front of where you think you actually need to. But he did take a little bit of damage right there, so he's forced to retreat temporarily. Oh, Acid really connected a little bit. Is that enough? Oh, he might he's go gonna, down. He'll survive, surely. There we go, there's the health. And the oh, turner Cypher had no health at all to take it. And once again, Cypher loses that first champion. This is looking really good for Noctis. You said it yourself, Noctis is not a player that cracks. He doesn't sort of crumble under the pressure. He does remain rock solid, composed. Oh, hang on a minute, that was a brilliant spawn for Cypher. Oh yeah, walks into a bit of acid, but it isn't gonna matter. The ghost walked another fight into heavy armor. Much better turnaround. Cypher doing exactly what he needs to do now. One more good fight. Cypher doesn't necessarily tie things up, but it's off to a good start. Oh, no, he's taking oh. this fight. Dead even. Oh, oh they trade! 
That was ridiculous. 2-1, but another relatively fast round. The strength of Corrupted Keep. Now, is that going to be the turning point for Cypher? Going down two rounds that quickly, that convincingly, but able to, in almost the exact same fashion, respond the same? Like, this could be huge for Cypher if he can keep this momentum going. However, Noctis has a great start. He's got the LG. He's got the LG, and Cypher doesn't. He has no armor, though, and look at Cypher. Surprise him from up behind. The super shotgun is, even the super shotgun is lethal in the hands of Saw like this early in the match. 120 damage at point blank. And now he's got an LG. Oh, none of the asset connects. Big mistake for Cypher. Popped into the ejection. Acid Spit's going to be down for 30 chunky seconds. More than enough time for Noctis to make chase. Cypher taking a lot of damage here. Not just determined not to let him heal up either. Slightly different change of pace. Haven't seen a frag in a minute. So you know things are a little bit different on this map so far. Well, they just have to be careful. A lot, a lot of the time, they're kind of like immediately just fighting and sticking to the fight until one of them inevitably dies. But be careful now. Willing to get out of that fight as soon as it's not going their way. Only one hit on that nail, so the damage is not in his favor. Noctis forced to retreat. Cypher making chase. Heading him off near Rocket 2. He knows. Noctis having to be so patient here. Needs to get a good call. If Cypher gets a good read on where he's going to go, this could be curtains. Stopwatch. Happy to take the Mega instead. That's what he needs. Still no frags on the board yet, though. Stop. Like either of them can play for the clock at the moment. Oh, a lot of damage coming through. The acid again doesn't quite hit the mark. No, he actually got a little bit of the damage over time. Desperately looking for health pickups. Manages to do so, but Cypher very low now. I wonder if Cypher's going in for the fight. No, he used that room to get up. two small healths and the armor. Good call. Running back towards heavy armor now, but Noctis is trying to meet him there. Little tiny bit of damage. He knows he's going to be there. They're going to trade out Mega for heavy. Looks like it. Yep, Mega goes all stock this and heavy towards Cypher already. I wonder if Noctis didn't get the tick on the LG there. Maybe he actually would have got the rocket on that teleporter. Cypher looked like he was going to go towards that teleporter. The only reason he stopped is because he got hit by that one tick, but no, the acid! That is damage. Uh -oh. Anarchy does not want to take. And the hoverboard goes flying. Acid into front flip, the deadly combo. Cypher going to take down that first frag half into this last round. Cypher, oh, springs the trap. Oh, Mid that air. was disgusting. That was such a good shot. And Cypher, one frag away from tying up this map. Evened up two rounds apiece and bringing himself to match point. I mean, Cypher, you can say he's in the zone now. Noctis has been playing so well, but Cypher has just been on fire in this map. Here he comes. Wow. A nice man of LG. Noctis forced to... Wait, what? Oh, I mean, commit suicide, I guess. That's it. 2-2. Two, two. Was that on purpose? I have no idea, but there's not even time to think about it. There's one round left, and this could be a 2-0 victory for Cypher, sending him easily in to DreamHack. Maybe one round potentially lying in this one. This round, if Doctus wins, he's going to tie up, and we will go to game three, but Cypher has to win this, and he's going to go to DreamHack over Noctis here. Noctis has made him fight for this one, but... On the verge of a three straight comeback, he can't actually fight back when he's in the injection. And because of that, he's out of there, but he is so weak. Can't go for the health either. Cypher, bang on top of him. The read, but can't finish it. Not yet. There's a few health things around, but Cypher knows what he's likely to go for. He's caught him here. This is bad. Curtains. Not to survive this. Oh, barely again, but every single time they fight, Cypher survives less and less health. Yeah, he might actually win the fight. Look at this. The stack advantage is totally in his favor. Whoa. Is Noctis going to turn this around? He does! Now, Cy Cypher was prioritizing chasing the frag and making sure he could take down Noctis and think over getting armor, unfortunately. But, Whoa. I mean, it was a good read. It just didn't quite pay off in the end. I mean, Cypher's got to be careful here. He can't be too aggressive because if oh, Noctis plays his cards right, he's going to make it 3-2. Oh, Hang on a minute. He gets another one. Yeah, Cypher now has to do this with just Galena. He has to take out three champions. Noctis, time after time, is able to just stop Cypher as he desperately pursues him. A three straight Galena comeback against Nyx and Sawlag on top of this anarchy. This is a tall ask for Cypher, but one of the best in the world for a reason. Oh, three rockets connect. He's taken a lot of damage. 
definitely damage he didn't want to take. It's going to be seven seconds and he gets the token two. No health available. Oh, Cypher's in trouble. Cypher jumps straight through. Where is Cypher gone? Oh, he gets the mega health. That's what he needed. That does mean he doesn't have to use the totem either. He can save it for later. Trying to do as much damage as possible, but Cypher doesn't look content on just running away. That was an important rocket. Oh, jump straight wow. over the totem. That would have been disastrous. I thought for sure he oh. was going to go into that one. That would have been curtains because Cypher would have known where he was. I think the damage coming through. Oh, oh barely alive. I'm trying to stop him getting chased with nails. I like the decision. Heavy armor could be up soon, but hasn't got time to go for it yet. There we go. Wonderful stacking up by Noctis. Almost on full everything again. He's got the injection too. Does he pop it to stay safe? No. He opts to keep the regular health instead. Saves it for later. Here comes the totem. Cypher survives because of the totem healing. I love how ready Noctis is for these totems. I mean, any single one of these he could have walked into and it would have been game over. Going in for the rocket. Dedicates to the fight. And instead of running away, he goes head on. And he gets a... Is going to take us down to a third map that was corrupted keep that was going to be no uh, Noctis's decision. And that'll be Noctis winning that second map. I wonder if Cypher was prepared for Noctis to actually turn around and take that fight because that taking that fight was a massive risk. If that didn't go right, I mean, one stray rocket and Noctis would have been out and that would have been it 2 0. Cypher would have already, as we speak, be uh, qualifying straight for DreamHack I mean, Denver. Hindsight's a, a, a good thing, right? But it's kind of like when, when looking at back stuff like that, that, that's when some players will do a little bit of damage, realize we're both low. I'm just going to get out of this one. I don't want to take this fight. I want to heal up. Eventually, some players just get bored of that or they just get tired of it and go, no, we're both low, but I believe I can beat him here. I believe I can win this 1v1. I think I have better weapons. I think I have better positioning. I think I have better sort of escape options. So I'm going to take this fight. Maybe that's what he thought at the time. Now, when you're in this situation where you're, you're so close, you can taste victory. You know, it's on the tip of your tongue where it's like you are this close to qualifying for DreamHack in Denver for that prize pot and the opportunity to face off against the other best players in the world who will be meeting you there across NA and EU. You're one champion away from it and one single fight doesn't go your way. That can do a lot to your mental composure. Going into an entire map, you've now got an entire other map to play and it's going to play differently. And that map will be Blood Run, which will be Cypher's final pick. Now, he has quite an interesting champion lineup, and he does play confidently on these old-school maps. And Cypher, in particular, having an old-school map is going to be great for him anyway, because the guy is a legend, one of the greatest of all time, and he's so experienced on basically every single Quake map there is. Keeping things classic and going with what he knows is uh, quite a safe bet, I think, for this final map. But here comes the champion selection. So I can imagine both players are most likely going to be sticking with the same composition here. Can't see why they're changing now. Hang on, though. Doom Cypher, guy. is that Doom Slayer locked in? It is. Who's he replacing? Oh, wow. So, and Slash. Yeah, so uh, Doom Slayer in place of Sawlag. And instead of Galena, it's going to be Slash. So a completely different lineup coming. Well, Cypher has mentioned on his stream that he actually thinks that Doom, uh, Doom Guy is really good. He thinks that Doom Guy is a really solid pick in the game, and it was quite early on, so I don't know whether his opinion may have differed, but he's picked him in a competitive setting, so clearly he must think that the champion has some potential. But on Blood Run in particular, this has been the map that we've seen people go with Doom Guy for, and I, I do think it is just kind of, you know, reiterate what I said earlier. It's that mobility that lets Doom Guy go wherever he wants to go for no risk to himself. You know, he's not really in the air, in the air for a long time. He's going in for those double jumps. He doesn't have to do damage to himself to get those important pickups. Doesn't have to damage himself to you know go from high to low locations, especially when you're kind of up top near where the teleporter takes you near heavy armor. Um, and the slash too means it's just going to be just complete mobility and hard to hit too. Very hard to hit with those rails. I am interested to see Cypher's Doom Slayer though, because I haven't seen it in a competitive setting before. But I know yeah, this, this is the first is, for me. I know this is a map that he's comfortable on. I know his slash is crazy. I know his nix is crazy. So. I'm inclined to think his Doomslayer is going to be really good too, but we just haven't seen it yet. So I'm excited to see what happens here. So one more map is going to be the difference between one of these guys moving on to DreamHack immediately and the other player being sent into the lower bracket where they're not out. But that safety net has gone and what a fantastic start. Just how he much survived damage. It. Noctis got away alive from that. Oh my lord. Thank so much you, damage. heavy armor. So crazy. But that's it. You know, that's why Noctis went for it. That's how tanky Saul I can become. Noctis is straight back in the fight. Here comes Cypher with the aggression. Oh, they don't quite trade it out. Still though, Noctis would like that rocket he's going to have to find health straight away because Noctis is going to be straight back there. Oh, didn't quite commit to it this time. How about mega health? That'll do the job. Well, he got both. 
This is great for Cypher. And he's caught him there. He got the injection, but he has slashed. Oh, no, doesn't want to follow immediately. Doesn't want to run into a rocket, I think. I'm not sure he was actually ready for that ground rocket because he just moved not to that danger. There's that plasma trail. I think, uh, where is he likely to be? Is that LG from below? Oh, it's that rail that could be huge. There's the teleport prediction. Chunky damage. Noctis still in trouble. Because he took so much damage here, this is going to force him away. And because he opts to stay and fight, he walks right into that rocket. I was just about to say that the fact that Cypher had done so much damage and forced Noctis away meant he had complete control of those middle pickups. That was really well played. And Cypher still in the slash, hasn't had to go off it yet. Now this is where things might change a little bit. Well, Noctis has no choice, but be careful. If he can't run in, he has no safety net. If he loses Nyx, he loses the round. That's it. And that's one round of three already gone. In less than two minutes. He's on the verge of making it happen. Five seconds until he's got Ghost Walk. So that was no escape there. If that fight didn't go well, he would have had no means to get away. The problem is Cypher has complete control over all the big power-ups as well. Even the rocket launcher here. It's going to be really hard for Noctis to get the equipment he needs to get back in through traditional means. <laughs> As Matreo has popped, is he going to try and chase her or is he just trying to maneuver? It's like she got a horrendously low cooldown time. Oh, that's a lot of rocket damage coming through. Mega Health not going to be up for a while yet. Just content keeping Noctis on the back foot, I think, at this stage. If you've got the champion advantage, you really are the one controlling the pace of the match. And if you can prevent them from getting these pickups too, then it's just going to be way better for you. Take a couple of those rails, they would have been around if you got those. Uh oh, oh, the oh. rocket through the plasma trail. Perfectly oh, wow. placed, but how about a perfectly placed direct as well? That will do the job. It is only Nyx after all, doesn't have too much health, and that's going to be going into the second round. Cypher looking really strong. And what could be the final map? is going to be the final map, but could be the final map for him in this tournament so far. Round two. Noctis goes out now. He's still going to be the tournament, but he's not going to be a. Uh, Going so early, you know, not going to be going in so easily. And that can take a lot out of you when you're this close to qualification and you've got to do the whole thing again. Let's test even the best players in the world. First up, catch him with the armor again. That's Fantastic good. placement, and the LG will just comfortably finish the job. That's two rounds for two rounds that Cypher has just waited for Noctis to pick up the armor and has punished him for it. It's just this time he got the kill directly. Expecting Noctis for trying to fight back, but he's not. Great amounts of damage yet. That damage was done before, I think. That was going through rockets too. Cypher able to thread through. Misses a clutch rail though. Close enough for these. Oh, there's the Berserk. Oh, but can't use it. Rocket launcher beats Berserk, unfortunately. Yeah, especially at that range. I bet the farm on it. 75 damage per punch though. Might have actually killed Noctis in that situation. But just didn't really get close enough to do it. It matters that rocket. Used it point blank and the rocket was going to work there anyway. But the rate of which Cypher is changing his starting champions, he doesn't mix it up. Even after winning, he likes to mix things up, I think. Make it a bit more unpredictable. So it must make him really hard to read when in that selection screen. When you're trying to get a, a hold on. Who are they going to play? What order are they going to play them in? You know, why have they picked them? And Cypher seems to play so many different champions at a high level that it seems almost impossible to prepare for it. He could bring out a combination of any of them. Like, this is a game that was this is a, a game currently where Sawlag is seen to be crucial on almost every single team, but here we are with Cypher. Look, let's go. Oh, the Ghost Walk pops. Very crucial Ghost Walk, because that rocket was 100% going to kill her. The fight takes place near the armor. Cypher gets taken out. Noctis back in the fight. Now, the Slash did a lot of work earlier in this previous round. Is it going to get a chance to this time, though? Already 8-1 rail in the hands of Anarchy. That is the question. And Anarchy's got injection ready, too, to undo any damage that Cypher wants to try and output here. Cypher doesn't even want to risk taking that Mega. Yeah, the health to even remotely try and contest, unfortunately. Here he comes. Oh, so much damage in his rockets ending up. Oh, one at a time. Knocked this very low. You sit up, baby. That was a close one. Oh, the rocket! So much damage one at a time. Cypher no longer can chase. Yeah, he has to run away. There is no way he's fighting that one. 
As long as he's alive, this round will continue. And if he just gets one, and that's a great start. One rail is all he needs. And then he just needs to make things 1-1. One, one. And with the amount of time we've got left, I mean, the pressure will be in some ways off. He gets another rail, but even 75 health and 76, it's still not going to be enough. He needs armor to survive a rail here. Oh, slash behind. Oh, that was a wonderful combo. Excellent. Oh, gets it. And wow. there we go. Sneaks up behind the teleporter exit and tied up. Round two done. One round apiece on this final map. This could go either fight. way. Now, Noctis defeating Cypher would be quite a story. Because, I mean, Noctis is a superb player, but Cypher definitely is the favorite going into this series. Oh, we said before, Noctis isn't known for really cracking against this top level sort of competition. We saw him do really well against Cooler at Worlds, Championship, like Quake Con, and these other players. But even here, in Cypher not looking phased. Now, this is a fight he could absolutely take. Sawlag just had way too much health and armor. And the damage of those rockets, too. I mean, that was quite an easy one versus one, really. Cypher, he's down to Doom Guy. These up close confrontations, Doom Guy has got a deceivingly high amount of health and armor, and he put it to good use right there. And because of the Mega, still over 160 left to play with. Yeah, still plenty of health to work with. If he jumps up, oh no. Oh, oh, minimal damage. So much damage this time, though. Yeah, not punished too heavily for that one. Yeah, this one's able to get away a little bit better. It's good for him. Oh, one of those nails, but none of them hit the mark. I mean, Noctis seems really happy with just going to that nail gun for that situation. I don't think I've seen any other player do it quite like him. Oh, Cypher catches him on the corner. The inject ejection, I should say, is popped. It's still relatively low. Trying to get as many health as he can to try and bring himself back in. Oh, that rail would have been a dead. Yep, that would have been it. Dig him off near the Mega. Beats him to it. Noctis tries to get the Mega, but Cypher was just way too close to fight for that one. Guaranteed pickup, trying to be careful. I believe, actually, yeah, used the Ghost Walk to go in for the heavy armor. But it's actually not up at all. Oh, takes a bunch of unnecessary damage. Doesn't come off better in that exchange either. And Cypher is now on match point. Cypher's looking strong. Prepare One round fight. away from making it to Dreamhack. I mean, we know he was unfortunately unable to make the World Championships despite scared. qualifying there. So, you know, he's Three, hungry to prove himself two, on that world stage. I mean, this man wants his land. Fight. There is no denying that. I mean, clearly he has the skills. He is definitely one of the best Quake players around right now. But he has to be able to go to these events to, to, to prove it. There's this he chance. What he's already done. And this is his chance to do it. If he wins this round, he'll make it to Dreamhack. He can just show the world what he can oh, do. Oh, confident game. LG. Hang on a minute. Wow. He does get the frag not even interested in running away he was but that was again a very doom way to take someone out just stand there outright but sticking to them at no point did he even remotely hint that he was ready to go back he was going to stick in that fight for thick and thin a lot of damage out the nail got uh oh this pop he gets the mega cypher oh the mega keeps him alive oh, oh my return <laughs> frag from noctis Oh, if Cypher got that frag, that would have been like, is there anything Noctis can do to survive? He popped the injection and the mega health and still came a, just a split second away from dying to the rail. I mean, they give Cypher have... one more frame of a second and maybe that would have been a return rail, but not today. Noctis was just quicker on the draw. What can I say? He was just faster when it counted. Now that might be the rail that saves his life, keeps him in this tournament. That might be the turning point. It might be, but it's still two to one round. I mean, if that rail hits him, it would have been three versus one. It would have had no choice but to make a comeback with just Nyx. Well, I suppose two versus one's more accurate, seeing as Cypher has actually lost Doom Guy in this round. Still, though, I get what you mean. It would have been a lot more difficult. I'm tied up, though. And what is still going to be the last map. No, just needs to get the round just to stay in. And, and we're pretty even there. That's it. He's done. Big damage on a rocket, but Noctis returns to the rail. So still, even the... Hang on a minute, gets him through the teleporter. Cypher goes down again, and he's rewarded with injection and heavy armor. And a good spawn. Is that going to be curtains for Cypher? I'm not sure. He won't have any weapons right now. What is he going to try and go for? Oh, no. Can't head him off. Minimal damage on the rocket, though. Might be saving him here. Oh! One at a time, he's trying to go for it, but... That long range of change, and that health goes towards Cypher, but all that damage already undone. Yep, because he missed the rail. It was just simply returned. Gets the rail too! Cypher has to get out of there! Just tries to head him off, I think. Keeping him behind with the heavy. Mega soon to follow. 
Cypher. He sees that Mr. L. He's going to go in. Or at least take damage where he can get it. And now he's going to try and control Mega. You can just see him. He's keeping an eye on it. We are halfway through what could be this last round, but so far not no! good. Oh, wow. Cypher with that rail from out of nowhere. And now one champion left. Nyx with the Ghost Walk. Slash with the Plasma Trail. This is going to be that final 1v1 potentially. He gets the read. The Ghost Walk to keep him alive. He surprises him with a shotgun. He's dedicating, but no, I don't think he can survive the fight. And Cypher manages to seal the deal. He secures himself a spot at Dreamhack. Very well fought indeed. Not an easy task at all. Cypher showing everyone why he's considered one of the best, going through so many different champions today alone. And I mean, how many more tricks up his sleeve could he possibly have, right? Doesn't matter what map he's on, doesn't matter what version of the game he's playing on. He has these set strategies from each map and Bringing out these cool picks, I mean, it's good to see, you know, didn't have Solag in that last game, opted for Doom Guy instead, clearly paid off, but shout outs to Noctis for once again, not only making it really far, but not cracking in the face of these top, top level players. At any point. Why he deserves to be on the level they are at themselves. I mean, really, it's it comes down to, you say to yourself, the ability to not crack. At any point in those rounds, it could have been Noctis. If Noctis won that set, I wouldn't have been surprised. You know, I mean, I, I would have had no doubt that Cypher would have made it through in the low bracket and probably would have qualified there as well. Um, but Noctis made him fight for it. And there were so many rounds there where a lesser player would have just crumbled under that pressure. But it wasn't going to be today. Cypher's going to be moving on. Syndrome versus Kilson is going to be our next matchup. And I do believe this should be another qualification match. So what to expect here? I mean, it's going to be hard to call. Both these players playing incredibly well, especially Kilson. But we have one of our qualified players already, and it's going to be Cypher, probably to the surprise of no one. A lot of people...